Hello and welcome to the series 6 and last video about creating crude pages using Next.js and Redux Observable. If you like this kind of video, I invite you to like and subscribe to my channel and get notified when I upload a new one. We have implemented the Add User Feature API, Actions, Reducer, and GUI in the previous video. If you find this video helpful, please subscribe. In this video, we will implement the edit feature functionality. Here's what to expect. We will create a new page to edit the user. Create API and action creators to fetch and update the user. Let's begin by implementing the update API. Open pages, API, users, id.js. Add an if statement to handle the HTTP put method. Get the ID from the request query and user from the request body. Don't forget to convert the date using the moment API. We're ready to update the record in Prisma's database using its API. It accepts data parameter that contains the properties that will be updated and where condition to identify which row to update. Don't forget to parse the value of the ID to convert it to an integer. Let's return the updated record with status 200. While we're here, let's add another statement to handle unsupported HTTP method and return 405 status. We will now be updating our Redux components. Open source, Redux, modules, user module, and add an action state, retrieve user. In the reducer function, Add retrieve user dot success to store and retrieve user, and updated user dot success to store the updated user. Let's change the status as well. Then we need to add the retrieve user and update user setup action creators. Update user is similar to create user, where we send the router object to redirect to the user's list page. Add retrieve user epic that will call the API backend to fetch a user in the database given an ID. We forgot the Retrieve User API. Let's create it now. Open Pages, API, Users, ID.js, and add an if statement that handles HTTP GET. Get the ID from the request.query and use it to fetch the user from Prisma using Find Unique API. Return a response with status 200 and the retrieved user. Let's update the GUI. Open source, views, user, user detail JavaScript file. Remember we are passing the user ID from the list page. So we need to get it here via router. Inside use effect, dispatch the action retrieved user. Make sure to check that the ID is valid. Let's get the retrieve user from the reducer. Create a function useUser that uses useSelector to extract the user and status from the reducer. Call the useUser function. Add an ID parameter to the use effect that we have created earlier to avoid multiple calls. Create another use effect statement. Inside it, use formic to set the form values from the user object if it's not null. Let's run some tests. Open the user's list page and click the edit page. It renders but fails to populate the form. Let's check the API. Here we're using request instead of the response object. Alright, our API is now working. Going back to the GUI, let's add a label to tell whether we are creating or updating a user. Refresh the list page and click edit. A white page. In times like this, always open your debug console. As we can see here, the problem is apparent. This part of the code is called multiple times. Let's add the user as a parameter to the second use effect. Please wait for it to rebuild. 
We can see in the logs that the user ID is fetched correctly and the user data. Inside the onSubmit function, add an if statement to update the user. Let's add the update user and update user oak epics. Like create, it calls our backend API to update the user in the database. Make sure to export this epics. Dispatch the update user action. Add another use effect statement. This one will clear the user and status in the reducer on unloading. Add router as the parameter to avoid unlimited reload. Let's try updating the data in the form. Another error. Again, let's go back to our console log. It seems like the ID attribute is not recognized. Perhaps because of the data type? Let's parse the ID and assign it back to our user object. Save and wait until recompilation is done. Finally, we have successfully updated our user. Let's try deleting a user. Click yes. Make sure that the correct ID is passed. Deletion is successful. Let's try editing a user again. And there you have it. In summary, we have successfully implemented the user update feature. I hope you like and learn from watching this tutorial, and earn your likes and subscriptions. Please share this video with your friends who want to learn React and Redux. Thank you for watching and see you in the next series.